This is Ralph with 13 Peppers, and today I'm going to be taking a look at an absolutely gorgeous pepper, the Black Phantom Red Black. Now, this is a gorgeous pepper to actually watch grow. Now, the um, pepper itself starts out a nice dark black and then when it gets to ripening you can actually see the red coming out underneath it and it kind of gives almost like a lava flow type of look very very gorgeous on the actual outside of the pepper now with this particular one this one's called a red black and when i was doing my research there's a couple other ones that they see there's a purple red there is a orange black and a few other different variations on this actual pepper Now, this pepper was actually created as a cross between a purple phantom and a Hallow's Eve pepper, and the cross was actually created by Joker's Chili. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Patrick from Patrick's Pepper Patch. This is actually where I picked up the seeds for this pepper and a couple other peppers that I'm actually growing and going to be reviewing this year. So, very, very nice selection that he has, and I'm looking forward to trying this one out. I also want to give a shout out to a lot of the different communities out there because when I started this a few years ago, I really wasn't in the different pepper communities or anything like that at all. I was just kind of just a backyard gardener having fun, just pulling stuff off the internet. And the more I've learned, the more I've actually stepped into a bunch of different pepper communities and like for different Facebook groups, you got Patrick's Pepper Patch, you also have Pepper Freaks, excellent, excellent groups. Um, you got a bunch of people in there, very, very helpful. Plus, if you're um, like Discord, there is an actually an excellent group called Pepper Lovers, which is a Discord channel. Another, another fine um, group that has an excellent community, and that is just what's very nice about the Pepper community is everybody talks, everybody gets together. Hey, and I appreciate all the interactions I've had with you guys. Okay, I think that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. So, as you can take a look inside here, it got some um, pretty, it's actually not a paper thin wall. It's a little bit thicker. It's like holding a, so it'll hold a bunch of juice. I kind of get like the little bit of reddish inside the placenta, but not much. Most of the placenta is still white. Uh, seed wise on the pepper, I'm gonna estimate probably close to about 30 seeds. So um, pretty decent for this type of pepper here. But um, yeah, very, very nice looking pepper inside. And now I'm looking forward to giving it a taste. I have half the pepper here. You can take a look. Um, I do need to work on my lights, but got the placenta and seeds right there. Hopefully that light hits that just right. But um, yeah, very much looking forward to this um, pepper. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna get into. I tried to actually watch a couple videos of people eating these. I found one, but I didn't really go over what the actual heat level was. I saw a couple things saying this is supposed to be similar to a ghost pepper. I'm not 100% sure. So we're gonna go ahead and taste this and find out. Now, when I did cut it open, I kind of did get a little scent of floral. Um, but the majority of it, I almost get like a peppery sweetness to this. I don't get like a hot, spicy pepper scent. So yeah, I don't know. But let's go ahead and give this a go. Just a little, oh, there's the floral. At first I didn't get floral and then I just, <coughs> oh. It took just a moment and then that floral went pow. Jesus. Not a big fan of floral. I also got a seed stuck in between my teeth. Great. Okay. Initially, I didn't have much of a heat. I think it's probably 20 seconds in, 25, maybe 30. I'm just starting to get a buildup now. Um, top of the roof of the mouth back top of the tongue okay so we're starting to get some heat build let's see where this goes i 
I'm not 100% sure if it's topped out or if it's still slowly building. I don't have anything in the back of the throat where I'm swallowing. It's mostly just top of the tongue, roof of the mouth. Yeah, sometimes you don't know what to expect, especially if you're not quite sure heat level and everything on this. Um, <clears throat> this does have a burn to it, but not an overpowering. Um, <sighs> also, I'm getting used to peppers. Been eating these things for almost two months now. Um, yeah, so you kind of get your tolerance and everything up there. This one I'm gonna say, just from my idea, heat level, uh, six, seven hundred thousand. I don't think we're up to a ghost. Way above a habanero. Um, yeah, that's gonna be roughly where I'm gonna say. It's not too bad. Now, the nice thing is it's not really seems like it's going down, so it's just consistent and staying put at this particular point. So, yeah, let's see how long this lasts. Now it's starting to actually go down. Um, yeah, not really that bad of a burn. Um, Nice that it didn't actually go in the very back of the throat where you're swallowing. Typically when I have heat, that is the hardest for me. But yeah, nice overall, root of the mouth, top of the tongue. I didn't really have anything on the side of the tongue or anything like that, so. Yeah, very, very interesting, so. Yeah, not bad. So, hey, thank you very much, Patrick. I do appreciate it. So, wonderful, wonderful pepper, but with that, I think that's going to be where we're going to call that there. So, <laughs> if you enjoyed what you've seen here today, please subscribe to the channel. It does help me out greatly. Still got saliva. <laughs> you can follow me on a bunch of my different social medias up here, or you can actually head to my website down below. There, I actually sell seeds from out of the garden from all the peppers that I grow, plus I actually have custom seasonings and spices that I make from those peppers. So... With that, that should be it. I'm Mayim Ralph with 13 Peppers, and I want to say thank you all very, very much. Okay. That's a good pepper. I like it. I need some more. <laughs>